recreational marijuana in Chicago is hitting some snags. The city's Black Caucus is proposing to delay sales for six months. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live outside City Hall. And Eric, this isn't about money, it's about equality. Good morning, Ryan. That's right. The city's Black Caucus wants to press pause on pot sales until July. They claim that right now African-American ownership when it comes to recreational marijuana here in Chicago is non-existent, and that needs to change. Members of the Black Caucus just held a special meeting about an hour ago demanding opportunities for African-Americans. They plan on proposing the ordinance during today's council meeting, which is actually happening right now. Lawmakers feel like African-Americans have been disproportionately discriminated against and even incarcerated because of weed's illegality. And now they won't even be benefiting from the new law that's taking effect. 28th Ward Alderman Jason Irvin says if pot were to become legal in Chicago on January 1, it would allow the 11 existing dispensaries here in the city, none of which are black owned, to have an advantage over any incoming businesses. In the end, we want to see people that look like us in this business profit from it and not the look of the 11 that exist. And Alderman Irvin also added that he's more than willing to work with the mayor and other lawmakers to find equity when it comes to African Americans and the legalization of marijuana here in Chicago. I'm live outside City Hall this morning, Eric Cox, CBS 2 News. I guess they say cut us in or cut it out. Thanks a lot, Eric. All